Hi students, welcome you all to this CET chemistry class on polymer chapter. Myself Malik Arjun, Huzrati, chemistry lecturer, PBVS Arts, Science and Commerce Independent PU College, Vidyagiri, Bagalkot. In this section, I am going to discuss some important CET and NEET level questions with answers on polymer chapter. My first question is, Arrange the following polymers in an increasing order of intermolecular forces, fiber, plastic and elastomers. Once again, arrange the following polymers like fiber, plastics and elastomers in an increasing order of their intermolecular forces. My options are Option A, elastomers less than fiber, less than plastics. Option B, elastomers less than plastics, less than fibers. Option C, plastics less than elastomer, less than fibers. Option D, fibers less than elastomers, less than plastics. Students, if you know the concept of classification of polymers based on intermolecular forces then it is very easy to answer this question because in that concept we already studied about elastomers and fibers elastomers are the polymers containing elastic properties because of weak intermolecular forces elastomers having elastic properties in presence of fibers Fibers are the thread-like polymers containing high tensile strength. Because of strong intermolecular forces, fibers having high tensile strength. And plastics, they have intermolecular force properties lies between elastomers and fibers. Therefore, your answer is which one is your answer? Answer for this question is option B is the right answer because elastomer having intermolecular forces less than plastics. Plastics have intermolecular forces less than fibers. Next second question. Match the column 1 with column 2 and mark the appropriate choice. In column 1, I take PVC, condensation polymer, polysaccharide and elastomers. In column 2, rubber, thermoplastics, dacron, natural polymer. Ok students, we know PVC means polyvinyl chloride. What about condensation polymers? These are the polymers formed by condensation process. During this type of polymerization, the simple molecules like water, ammonia, etc. are removed. And what about polysaccharides? Polysaccharides example, starch, cellulose, etc. Elastomers, they are having elastic properties. Okay, see this rubber, it is one of the uh, elastomer, thermoplastic polymers means they have linear chains when heating, when undergo heating, they become soft. If further uh, cooling, they become hard. Dacron means this is also called as terylene, it is one of the condensation polymer. Next, natural polymer. Polysaccharides are natural polymers. Okay, compare the column 1 and column 2 again. PVC is one of the thermoplastic polymer. Next, condensation polymer. Definitely, Dacron or terylene is an example for condensation polymer. Polysaccharides, natural polymers, best example, okay. Option D, elastomers, sorry, elastomers, example for elastomers is rubber, okay. 
therefore your answer answer c here uh, answer is a a is right answer third question which of the following is not true for thermoplastic polymers see this question which of the following is not true for thermoplastic polymers before going to this question first you know what are thermoplastic polymers these are the polymers become smooth on heating and become hard on cooling okay my first option thermoplastics are linear polymers option b they soften and melt on heating option c molten polymers can be remolded into any shape option d they have cross linkages which break on heating students come to the first point thermoplastics are linear polymers okay in the definition point thermoplastic polymers are the linear polymers become smooth on heating and become hard on cooling because of this point option a is related to the thermoplastic polymer next come to the option b they soften and melt on heating this is also related to the poly thermoplastic polymers and molten polymer can be remolded into any shape students if you compare the thermoplastic polymers and thermosetic polymers thermoplastic polymers are remolded but thermosetting polymers cannot be remolded therefore option c is also related to the thermoplastic polymers option d they have cross linkages which break on heating remember thermoplastic polymers having linear chain of monomers they do not have any cross linkages therefore option d is not suitable for thermoplastic polymers therefore our answer is d itself okay option d is the right answer okay next fourth question which factor imparts the crystalline nature to a polymer like nylon among these points which point explain there is a crystalline nature to a polymer like nylon my options are strong intermolecular forces like hydrogen bonding between chains option b van der waal forces between the polymeric chains option c close packing of chains due to ionic bonding between the chains option d three dimensional network of chains yes first come to the uh, a option strong intermolecular forces like hydrogen bonding between the chains when you go to the details of nylon it is one of the polyamide nylon nylon 66 these are these are the polymers comes in place of polyamides in these type of polymers nitrogen is bonded with hydrogen atom of one nylon nylon polymer and strongly bonded with the carbon atom means here the strong intermolecular force like hydrogen bonding between the chain takes place if you take option b van der waal forces between the polymeric chains here there is no formation of chemical bonds therefore option b is not suitable for this option c close packing of the chains due to ionic bonding between the chains there is no necessary of ionic bonding formation here therefore option c is also not related to the polymer nylon next d three dimensional network chains there is no three dimensional network chains of nylon polymers 
therefore your answer is option a take fifth question match the column 1 with column 2 and mark the appropriate choice in column 1 my options buna s polyamides c polyvinyls urea formaldehyde in column 2 thermosetting fibers elastomers and thermoplastics First, you know the details of this question. Buna, yes, it is one of the synthetic polymer. Buna, yes, it is one of the polymer made with 1,3-butadiene and styrene monomers. Next, what about polyamides? Nylon 6,6 fibers are comes in place of polyamides. Next polyvinyls polyvinyls i think already you know about polyvinyl chlorides these are the best example for thermosetting polymers next urea formaldehyde urea formaldehyde resin is also called as bakelite okay see the appropriate choice which one is your answer see here Buna, yes, it is one of the synthetic rubber, means for Buna, yes, in the column 2, elastomer is the correct choice. Buna, yes, is one of the elastomer. Next, polyamides. Polyamides, fibers because nylon 66 is also one of the fiber next option c polyvinyls thermoplastics are the polyvinyls d urea formaldehyde bakelite is a best example for thermosetting polymer therefore your answer is c here Option C is the right answer. Option C is the right answer. Next. Question number 6. Natural rubber is a polymer of. Natural rubber is the polymer of. Natural rubber. My options. 1,1-dimethyl butadiene. Option B. 2-methyl 1,3-butadiene. Option C, 2-chlorobuta, 1,3-diene. Option D, 2-chlorobut, 2-ene. Remember students, natural rubber is one of the polymer containing the monomer isoprene. What is the formula of isoprene? It is 2-methyl-1,3-butadiene. And this is also called as polyisoprene. This natural rubber is available in two forms. One is cis form and another one trans form. Cis form is cis 1,4 polyisoprene. Next trans form of this natural rubber is called gutta parcha. Usually used in medical field. So come to this question. Natural rubber is a polymer of 2-methyl-1,3-butadiene. Therefore, your answer is B. Answer is B. Next, question number 7. High-density polyethene is obtained by... Means HDPE is obtained by... Option A... Polymerization of ethene in a hydrocarbon solvent in presence of Ziegler Nata catalyst. Option B Polymerization of ethene under high pressure and temperature. Option C Pre radical polymerization of ethene at low temperature in presence of peroxide. Option D 
पॉलिमराइजेशन ऑफ इथीन इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ कार्बन टेट्रा क्लोराइड थिंक अबाउट क्वेश्चन हाई डेंसिटी पॉलिथीन इज ऑप्टेन्ड बाय देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिथीन वन इज एल डी पी एंड अनदर वन एच डी पी हाई डेंसिटी पॉलिथीन इज फॉर्म वेन इथीन अंडर गो पॉलिमराइजेशन इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ जिकलर नाटा कैटलिस्ट एट लो टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर या हाई डेंसिटी पॉलिथीन इज फॉर्म means this type of polymer is formed in presence of ziegler natta catalyst therefore your right answer is polymerization of ethene in presence of hydrocarbon solvent ziegler natta catalyst what is ziegler natta catalyst Ziegler Natta catalyst it is composition of triethyl aluminum and titanium tetrachloride with inert solvent like heptane therefore answer is a next eighth question which of the following polymers does not involve cross linkages ऑप्शन ए वोल्कनाइज रबर ऑप्शन बी बेकलाइट ऑप्शन सी मेलामाइन ऑप्शन डी टेफ्लॉन ओके विच वन इज द राइट आंसर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पॉलिमर्स डज नॉट इन्वॉल्व क्रॉस लिंकेजेस स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू नो द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पॉलिमर्स बेस्ड ऑन स्ट्रक्चर देर आर थ्री टाइप्स वन इज लीनियर चेन पॉलिमर्स ब्रांच चेन पॉलिमर्स एंड क्रॉस लिंक पॉलिमर्स इन दैट क्रॉस लिंक पॉलिमर्स हैविंग नंबर ऑफ क्रॉस लिंकेजेस Vulcanized rubber. What is this vulcanized rubber? It is one of the process in which the rubber is heated in presence of sulfur or sulfur-containing compounds to increase the properties of that rubber. During this type of volume, during this type of process, number of sulfur linkages are formed. Therefore. Vulcanized rubber also comes in cross linkages. Bakelite, already you know. Bakelite means it is the mixture of phenol formaldehyde resin. First you get normalac. After that, bakelite is formed. Means bakelite also contains three-dimensional network. Option C, melamine. Option D, Teflon. It is melamine is also one of the resin. Option D, Teflon. Teflon is also called as tetrafluoroethene. Tetrafluoroethene. CF two double bond CF two. Okay. Poly tetrafluoroethene. It is one of the polymer formed by poly fluoroethene. It is formed by the monomer fluoroethene. It is not a cross linkage. Means Teflon it do not involves any cross linkages because it is one of the linear polymer. Therefore, your answer is D. Next question number nine. Match the polymers given in column one. With the type of linkage present in column two, and mark the appropriate choice. See my question: Match the polymers given in a column one with the type of linkage present in column two, and mark the appropriate choice. In column one, the polymers are terylene, nylon, cellulose, RNA. Terylene, nylon, cellulose, RNA. Similarly, in the column two, the type of linkages are glycosidic linkage, ester linkage, phosphodiester linkage, and amide linkage. What is my answer? See here, students. Terylene 
here terrilene it is also called as decron you know it is one of the polyester polyester means there is a ester linkage present here if you know what are the monomers present in a terrilene definitely your answer is ethane 1 to diol and terephthalic acid during the combination of these two polymers there is a formation of ester linkage therefore terrilene it involves ester linkage similarly next point nylon nylon if you take an example nylon 66 already you know it contains an amide linkages next cellulose cellulose it is one of the polysaccharide containing beta glucose units beta glucose units are combined with glycosidic linkage here remember students what is glycosidic linkage glycosidic linkage is a type of covalent bond which binds the carbohydrate molecules next RNA already you know RNA means ribose nucleic acid it contains phosphodiester linkage then your answer is choose the appropriate choice yes your answer is B because option here A terrilene is one of the ester linkage containing polymer next B nylon it contain amide linkage C cellulose it contain glycosidic linkage D RNA it involves phosphodiester linkage therefore this is the right answer next question number 10 match the column 1 with column 2 and mark the appropriate choice in the column 1 a given natural polymer addition polymer copolymer semi synthetic polymer in column 2 observe rayon is given bakelite is given silk and neoprene first you know what is the concept involved in this this rayon it is the best example for semi synthetic polymers because this rayon is also called as cellulose acetate what are semi synthetic polymers these are the natural polymers but they are chemically treated therefore this rayon is one of the semi synthetic polymer next bakelite what is bakelite it is the it is the polymer which containing monomers phenol and formaldehyde next silk remember it is one of the natural protein fiber which one silk it is the natural protein fiber what is neoprene neoprene is 2 chloro 1 3 butadiene neoprene is nothing but 2 chloro 1 3 butadiene okay see the combinations natural polymer which one is exactly the answer for this natural polymer definitely silk example because silk is one of the natural protein fiber next addition polymer addition polymer okay neoprene why neoprene is one of the addition polymer because what are addition polymers? Polymers are formed by addition of same kind or same kind of monomers. So here neoprene it is one of the 
synthetic rubber formed by a single monomer repeated units of a single monomer next copolymer what are copolymers polymers are formed by different kind of monomers so bakelite is one of the copolymer here because bakelite it formed by phenol and formaldehyde next semi synthetic polymers semi synthetic polymers already you know rayon is one of the semi synthetic polymer okay then answer is which one natural polymer is silk addition polymer addition polymer example here neoprene copolymer bakelite semi synthetic polymer rayon okay answer oh, this is the right answer next go to 11th question which of the following sets contains only addition polymers observe here which of the following sets contain only addition polymers students already you studied in presence of addition polymers there are two types one is homopolymers and another one copolymers homopolymer means polymer made with same kind of monomers copolymer means polymer formed by different kind of monomers but my question is which of the following sets contains only addition polymers option a polyethylene polypropylene and terylene polyethylene pvc acrylene bunyas nylon polybutadiene bakelite pvc polyethylene come to the option a polyethylene which is a monomer here ethylene is the monomer it is one of the addition polymer because it number of ethylene molecules undergo addition to form polyethylene poly propylene is also addition polymer what about terylene terylene is also called as terylene is also called as decron it is formed by the monomers ethane one to diol and terephthalic acid but during this polymerization there is a condensation takes place therefore this is not your answer come here option b polyethylene pvc pvc polyvinyl chloride vinyl chloride is your monomer number of vinyl chloride units combined to give a polyvinyl chloride next acrylon acrylonitrile acrylon is also called as pan polyacrylonitrile so what is your answer next 11th question which of the following sets contains only addition polymers repeat my question which of the following sets contains only addition polymers option a polyethylene polypropylene and terylene see here polyethylene is the polymer made with the number of monomers ethylene polypropylene made with the number of monomers propylene what about terylene terylene the monomers involved are in the polymer terylene also called as decron the monomers are ethane one to diol or ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid during the polymer during this polymer formation there is a condensation takes place between the monomers therefore it is one of the condensation polymer therefore this is not your answer come to the option b polyethylene pvc nylon nylon if you take an example nylon 66 because polyethylene it is one of the polymer made with ethylene 
यूनिट्स नंबर ऑफ इथलीन यूनिट्स पीवीसी पॉलीविनाइल क्लोराइड डेफिनेटली मोनोमर इज विनाइल क्लोराइड नंबर ऑफ विनाइल क्लोराइड यूनिट्स आर कंबाइंड टू गिव ए पॉलीमर पॉलीविनाइल क्लोराइड बट नाइलॉन 66 इफ यू टेक एन एग्जांपल नाइलॉन 66 हियर द मोनोमर्स इन्वॉल्व्ड आर नाइलॉन 66 एग्जाम इथलीन डायमाइन एंड एडिपिक एसिड there is also condensation process takes place therefore this is also not your answer next bunyas 13 butadiene and styrene nylon here also nylon is present therefore it is not your answer come here option d bakelite bakelite is a polymer made with the monomers like phenol and formaldehyde pvc it is best example for addition polymer next polyethylene it is also an example for addition polymer therefore your answer is d yes next 12th question the s block element is used as a catalyst in the manufacture of buna s rubber as i think already you know this is direct question option a magnesium option b calcium option c barium option d sodium the name itself buna s indicates the monomers and which type of catalyst involved here see here this buna s bu indicates 13 butadiene and this s indicates styrene remember between these two monomers there is a na na it indicates sodium is the answer means s block element sodium is used as a catalyst in the manufacture of rubber therefore your answer is d next question number 13 biodegradable polymer which can be produced from glycine and amino caproic acid as remember this is very important question because it appears many times in examination biodegradable polymer which can be produced from glycine and amino caproic acid is before going to this concept first recall what are biodegradable polymers biodegradable polymers means they are degraded by microorganisms okay option a nylon 2 nylon 6 option b phbv option c buna n option d nylon 66 remember the monomers involved in all these type of monomers just recall the monomers which are present in all these first one nylon 2 nylon 6 remember this is one of the biodegradable polymer here the monomers involved are glycine and amino caproic acid next in b phbv phbv indicates poly beta hydroxy butyrate copolymer of beta hydroxy valerate the monomers involved in phbv are 3 hydroxy 3 hydroxy butanoic acid and 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid similarly in buna n already you know bu indicates 13 butadiene and n indicates sacralo nitrile but this is not a biodegradable polymer next option d nylon 66 hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid are the monomers involved here but this is also not a biodegradable polymer therefore your answer is a next 14th question the commercial name of polyacrylonitrile is the commercial name of polyacrylonitrile polyacrylonitrile is simply called as pan simply called as pan p a n the commercial name of pan is orlon remember this is your answer and this is also a direct question the acron means terylin pvc you know polyvinyl chloride bakelite it is one of the cross linked polymer but 
Remember the commercial name of polyacrylonitrile is Arlon. Next, fifteenth question. The polymer used in orthopedic devices and in control drug release is. This is also very important. The polymer used in orthopedic devices and in control drug release is. Option A, Arlon. Option B, PTFE means polytetrafluoroethene. SBR means styrene, butadiene, rubber. Remember, SBR, it indicates styrene, butadiene, rubber. Already you know, PHBV means. What is PHBV? It is one of the biodegradable polymer. Yes, see here, Arlon. This is one of the polymer used in presence of making cloths, carpets and blankets. Remember, Arlon is the polymer used in making cloths, carpets and blankets. Next, polytetrafluoroethene. Fluoroethene, already you know, Teflon. Polytetrafluoroethene is nothing but Teflon. It is used in presence of non-stick surfaces. Next, SBR. What is SBR? Styrene, butadiene, rubber. Remember students, it is used as a substitute for natural rubber. Instead of natural rubber, we used a SBR. Next, PHBV. It is usually used in presence of medical field. Is that orthopedic devices and in controlled drug release? Therefore, for this question, your answer is PHBV. The polymer used in orthopedic devices and controlled drug release is PHBV. Next, question number 16. See here, this question is related to the theory part. In vulcanization of rubber, what happens? Option A, sulfur reacts to form a new compound. Sulfur cross links are introduced. Sulfur forms a very thin protective layer over rubber. Option D, all statements are correct. Definitely, answer for this question is D. But why this is the answer? Remember students, vulcanization of a rubber is one of the process. During this process, the rubber is heated with the help of sulfur or sulfur containing compounds. What is the use of this process? This process gives the high tensile strength or simply it increases the properties of that particular rubber. During this process, the adding sulfur, it creates a, uh, it creates a straight chains or cross linked with the structures. And it creates a very thin layer over the rubber. Because of all these points, your answer is all statements are correct. Means given all statements are related to the vulcanization of rubber process. Next, question number 17. Which of the following sets contains only addition homopolymers? Remember, this is very important. Which of the following sets contains only addition Homopolymers, addition polymers in that homopolymers. What is meaning of homopolymers? Homopolymers are the polymers made with same kind of monomers. Yes, option A, polyethene, definitely homopolymer. Ethene is a monomer. Natural rubber, yes. Natural rubber, which is the monomer here? Which is the monomer? Natural rubber, isoprene. Cellulose, cellulose, beta glucose units, but there is a glycosylic linkage present here. 
and one of the condensation polymer takes place next option b it is not a addition polymer cellulose is not a addition polymer because during cellulose formation there is a condensation process takes place so option b come to the option b nylon polyester melamine resin if you take a nylon this also related to the condensation polymerization therefore this also not, not your answer next option c teflon polytetrafluoroethylene bakelite remember bakelite it involves two types of monomers which one which are those which are those bakelite phenol and formal dehyde Orlon, nothing but pan, polyacrylonitrile, acrylonitrile is the monomer, therefore this is also not your answer. Come here, neoprene, neoprene means 2-chloro-1,3-butadiene, polyvinyl chloride, vinyl chloride is the monomer, polyethene, ethene is the monomer, means same kind of monomers are involved here, here and here. Therefore, your answer is D. Next, question number 18. This is also related to the theory. Direct question. The difference in the densities. Different in the densities of low density and high density polymers. Is due to fact that. Low density polyethene are highly branched structures while high density polyethene consists of closely packed linear molecules. Option B, LDP, low density polyethene are linear chains while HDP are branched chain of polyethene. Option C, both LDP and HDP are unbranched linear chains with different lengths. D. At high temperature, the density of polymer is reduced. Option C and D are not related to or not right this concept. Here, observe here, the first point. LDP, low density polyethene are highly branched structures, but HDP consists of closely packed linear molecules. Therefore, your answer is this only. Option A. Remember the formation of HDP and LDP here. During LDP formation, low density polyethene, high temperature and pressure is formed. Next, in presence of formation of HDP, one of the important catalysts, which one? Ziegler Nata catalyst is used. But during HDP formation, there is a low temperature and low pressure is involved. Next, number. Question number 19. Novalac on heating with formaldehyde undergoes dash to form an infusible solid. Infusible solid mass called. Okay, here there are two points. Complete your answer. Okay, first you know what is this Novalac? Remember students, Novalac is the linear structure formed as a product of condensation reaction between phenol and formaldehyde. Novalac on further heating with formaldehyde undergo cross linkage to form an infusible solid mass called bakelite. Therefore, Definitely your answer is Novalac on heating with formaldehyde undergo cross-linking polymerization and to form an infusible solid mass called bakelite. Therefore, your answer is B. Question number 20. Synthetic Biopolymer or biodegradable polymer PHBV is made up of the following monomers. Before going to this question, first you remember what is this PHBV? This is one of the biodegradable polymer 
लॉन्ग फॉर्म ऑफ दिस इज पॉली बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी ब्यूटेरेट को पॉलीमर ऑफ बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी वैलरेट This is one of the biodegradable polymer. The name itself indicates the monomers which are present here. The answer is three hydroxy butanoic acid and three hydroxy pentanoic acid. Yes, definitely this is the answer. But observe the other options. Two hydroxy butanoic acid, two hydroxy propanoic acid. This is not your answer. Three chlorobutanoic acid. There is no chlorine group. Two chloro is also not your answer. Definitely, the monomers involved in PHBV are three hydroxy butanoic acid and three hydroxy pentanoic acid. Next, the next question, question number twenty-one. Which of the following is a biodegradable synthetic polymer? Okay, which of the following is biodegradable synthetic polymers? Option A, aliphatic polyesters. Remember, these are the polymers undergo enzyme degradation. Aliphatic polyesters are the polymers which undergo enzyme degradation. Next, PHBV. Already you know this is one of the example for biodegradable polymer. Nylon two, nylon six. This is also one of the biodegradable polymer. Which are the monomers involved here? Remember, glycine and amino caproic acid are the monomers involved in the polymer nylon two, nylon six. Option D, all of these definitely. This is the answer. Means all these are the biodegradable synthetic polymers. Next question number twenty two. The monomers of biodegradable polymer nylon two, nylon six. Early uh, in the earlier question, we already discussed about nylon two, nylon six. What are the monomers involved here? Glycine and amino caproic acid. Where is your answer? Option A, glycine and adipic acid. Not your answer. Glycol. There is no glycol group. Phenol and urea. No. Okay, glycine and amino caproic acid is the answer. Next question number twenty three. Few polymers are matched with their uses. Point out the wrong match. This is also very important. For answering this type of questions, you must know the particular polymer uses. Here option A. Polyesters. Remember, these are used as a fabrics, tire cords, safety belts. Right. This is right match. Polyesters are used as a fabrics, tire cords as well as safety belts. What about nylon six? Yes, nylon six are used as a ropes, tire cords, and fabrics. Yes, this is also correct match. Next, what about bakelite? Packaging industry and lubricants. C option D. Teflon is used as oil seals, gaskets. Non-stick utensils. Yes, this is right answer. But what about option C? Bakelite is used as packaging industry and lubricant. I think this is not correct match because for the packaging industry and lubricant, polyethylene is used. Therefore, this is not correctly matched. Therefore, your answer is C. Remember. For packaging industry and lubricant, polyethylene polymer is used. Next question number twenty-four. Glycol polymer is obtained by the following monomers. Remember, glycol is one of the polymer usually used in presence of paints and liquors. Okay, what are the monomers involved in the polymer glycol? Remember, students, the monomers involved in glycol are my options are malonic acid and ethylene glycol. Option B, thalic acid and ethylene glycol. Malic acid and formaldehyde. Option D, acetic acid and phenol. Remember, students, 
this is very important question or this type of question is very important which are the monomers involved in a particular polymer here diphenyl is the polymer and monomers are thallic acid and ethylene glycol if you know the concept directly you write the answer option b is the right answer because glyptal is the polymer made with the monomers phthalic acid and ethylene glycol next question number 25 match the column 1 with column 2 and mark the appropriate choice here in the column 1 they given rain coats and hand bags rain coats and and bags uh, b laminated sheets c television cabinets and d orthopedic device i think this word is already used orthopedic device is used in presence of or orthopedic device are prepared by one of the biodegradable polymer which one phbv okay first go to the option a rain coats hand bags remember students for the preparation of rain coats and hand bags hand bags polyvinyl chloride is also used and for laminated sheets for laminated sheets like uh, cups and toys urea formaldehyde resin means bakelite is used for laminated sheets next television cabinets remember for television cabinets one of the polymer polystyrene is helpful next you know orthopedic device is a phbv okay which one is the correct match here in in these four answers yes choose the answer definitely yes this is the answer c is the right answer next question number 26 which of the following is not a semi synthetic polymer which of the following is not a semi synthetic polymer semi synthetic polymers what are semi synthetic polymers these are the natural polymers but they can chemically treated yes option a polyisoprene cis polyisoprene cellulose nitrate cellulose acetate vulcanized rubber this vulcanized rubber and cellulose acetate cellulose nitrate this cellulose nitrate is used as a gun powder this cellulose acetate nothing but rayon this vulcanized rubber okay all these three b c d are synthetic polymers sorry semi synthetic polymers but cis polyisoprene nothing but natural rubber yes this is not a semi synthetic polymer therefore your answer is a next question number 27 which of the following statement is not true remember which of the following statement is not true about low density polyethylene among these which one is not true about low density polyethylene yes option a tough option b hard option c poor conductor of electricity option d highly branched structure yes when you observe these points means these options definitely the low low density polyethylene it is one of the tough substance but not hard substance because it is flexible remember students poly low density polyethylene it is one of the flexible substance it is not a hard substance next definitely it is one of the poor conductor of electricity highly branched structure therefore your answer hard it is not true about low density polyethylene next number 28 which of the following polymers need at least one diene monomer for their preparation remember 
See my question. Which of the following polymers need at least one diene? One diene monomer for their preparation. Okay, come to the options. Option A, Dacron. Dacron, also called as terline. What are the monomers? Monomers involved in the polymer Dacron are ethane 1 to diol or ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid. Therefore, there is no double bond containing monomer. Option B, Nolac, phenol formaldehyde. There is also no double bond containing monomers. Neoprene, see here, neoprene means it, it is nothing but 2 chloro 1 3 butadiene. Yes, it contains one double bonded containing monomer. Next, Teflon. Teflon polytetrafluoroethane. Yes, your answer is neoprene. Option C is the right answer. Next, question number 29. Polymer used in bulletproof glass is very important question. Which polymer is used in bulletproof glass preparation? My question, my options are A. Lexan, option B. PMMA, option C. Nomex, option D. Kevlar. If you know the concepts, then it is also very easy to identify the answer. First, see the option A, Laxan. It is one of the polymer. Before going to this, option B, take option B, PMMA. This is the meaning of this. PMMA, it indicates polymethyl meth acrylic acid. Remember, long form of PMMA is polymethyl meth acrylic acid, which is the polymer used in presence of lens, aircraft, windows, etc. Next option C, Nomex. Nomex, it is one of the polymer which is used in circuit plates, TV, radio, etc. Next, option D, Kevlar, I think we are familiar with this polymer because in presence of preparation of bulletproof vests or jackets, it is very useful. But option A, Laxan, it is one of the polymer which is used in presence of preparation of bulletproof glass. Therefore, your answer is A. Answer is Yay. Next, question number 30. Very important. Nylon 610 is the polymer of monomers. Hexamethylene and adipic acid. Hexamethylene and sevacic acid. Option C, caprolactam. Option D, none of the above. Definitely, Nylon 610 is the polymer containing the monomers hexamethylene and sevacic acid. Remember students, Nylon 610, it is one of the polymer which is very useful for the preparation of parachutes. In presence of preparation of parachutes, Nylon 610 polymer is very useful. Therefore, your answer is hexamethylene and sebacic acid is the right answer. So, these are some important questions in the polymer chapter. Next, in the next video, we will discuss some CET questions on another chapter, chemistry in everyday life. Thank you students.